How's it going, everybody? I'm Nikki Delventhal, and these are my dogs, Rodney and Camper Delventhal. For over three years, we lived in a Toyota Prius, but now we're in a 4x4 Sprinter. And we're here to take you along on the wild ride. So fasten up your seatbelts and let's have some fun. Don't forget, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and turn on notifications. We would be so thankful. Today's adventure is taking us about three, almost 4,000 feet up in elevation and 20 miles down some gnarly dirt roads. Okay, you guys, the roads are so much worse than they were last time. Last time I'm getting stuck and needing to winch myself out. Uh, I can definitely feel ourselves slipping around. So we are gonna air down the tires a bit and uh, try to keep going. Worst case, we don't make it, but uh, yeah, let's at least make it easier on ourselves. Oh, hi boys, how we doing? Mama's just gonna air down and we'll see you in a minute, okay? All right, back on the road, 10 miles to go. Level spot. I'm just gonna back up into it here. Oh, now that is a sign of some off roading. Whoops. Hey, Rodney. How was the drive? Yeah, that's more a camper's thing, huh? Good boy. This is perfect. Oh my goodness, this is so dirty. Wow, you guys, this is exactly what we needed. It has been quite a tough few weeks. Um, I feel like when I'm not moving, I get kind of depressed and it's been three and a half weeks of being sick or dealing with vet stuff between the mites and the tick-borne illnesses that Ronnie had. And then I had a full week of some type of stomach bug from Mexico and then 14 days in bed with a respiratory infection and pneumonia. It was just, <laughs> It's been a rough month, so this is exactly what we needed to be out here by ourselves, moving. We are so lucky. All right, I don't know about you guys, but I'm hungry. You hungry? You hungry? They're always hungry. Let's have dinner. We gotta mud proof this thing. There are muddy paws everywhere. But Ma, in case you haven't noticed, nothing in here is safe from dog hair and dirt. If you guys have been watching for a while, you'll notice that their food always looks different and that's because I will do raw food, but in different forms. Uh, sometimes dehydrated is the easiest, uh, sometimes frozen is good, and then sometimes I'll get it straight from the butcher and then whole foods. So it always looks different, but their stomachs don't get messed up because they are used to having lamb, rabbit, organic huh? vegetables, and things like that. So yeah, today's dehydrated because it's easier when you're gonna be out here for a long time and you have a tiny freezer. Here you go. Rodney, sit. Rodney, sit. Good boy. Free, yes. Good boy. 
One thing I've been working really, really hard on this week with Rodney is impulse control. Um, you know, just in case you don't know the background, uh, he was found at a McDonald's begging. He was abandoned or left there um, really in rough shape. So he's still in that fight or flight mode where he doesn't think he's going to get any food. Um, so we're kind of doing the impulse control with the food because I think it will help with the training all around. Um, it really helped with Camper. And he's been doing it so, so good. I'm so proud of you. Right, Camper? Honestly, I think impulse control was the hardest thing for me, but now I am such a good boy. Wait till you guys see this. So I have been mastering my sourdough, and I think this is my best loaf I've made yet. Look at that. Mm. So we're gonna make something with this. Masterpiece. Oh yeah, you guys, this is by far some of my best work. Should we show them your tricks? Yeah? How about your new tricks? First, we'll do camper. Focus! He'll stare you in the eyes for like 20 minutes. Gentle. This gentle. Some people think it's gross. I think it's adorable. Gentle. Gentle. Didn't even touch me. <laughs> now Rodney on the other hand. Watch how chaotic this one is. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Oh, good boy. Oh, we got a winner. High five. Good boy. All right. Let's brush our teeth before bed. Here you go. Rodney is not fully potty trained yet, so we gotta go outside together. <laughs> Camper, Rodney, go potty. All right, who's ready for a movie and bed? What do you think? Of course I want to watch a movie, Ma. <laughs> Good morning, boys. He does this every morning. He's such a lover. All right, let's go outside, boys. Ready for coffee. But you're ready for food, huh? Yeah. Let's get that first. Wait. Free. Hey. Okay, yes, free. Here you go. Yes. Alright, we also need to feed Delvin Doe, our little sourdough starter baby. This thing has been going strong. She is fed. 
coffee time. Now it's my turn. <gasps> Grind down. You guys want to take turns? You want to grind this? Yeah? No? No? All right. You let me do all the work? Got it. Agave. Little oil with a side of Disney Princess. Cheers. Now it's perfect. Same outfit as yesterday. Don't mind if I do. You guys want to go explore in the mountains? Go ahead. You could go. Oh, do I have to go first? Okay. How about now? You ready? Pretty windy out, you guys, but it is beautiful. So we're thinking we're gonna head over that way. I think there's a waterfall. Maybe we'll find it, maybe we won't. Otherwise, we're getting some exercise and we love that. Looks like I might have been wrong about Rodney. He's quite the little mountain goat after all. Rodney, come here. Are you scared? There's so many cool camp spots up here. Oh. Beyond finding some really beautiful swimming holes and just beautiful nature, we're also checking out the forest road here. Uh, reason being, I've only come this way from the other side and I've heard it's so hard on this side. So I just wanted to see what it looked like and I don't know, it looks all right. I don't know, I've been getting really good at off-roading. You know, reviews say that the way coming in is super hard and don't do it unless you have a four x four Jeep and we did it flying color. So good job, Nikki. Nothing in this world makes me happier than seeing my dogs happy. Oh, they both have the zoomies so hard. And like for a half an hour. You know, at first I was really nervous about having two dogs and Rodney, but even with all his medical issues, this is the best thing I could ever do. They're so good for each other. Home, sweet home. Good boys. No, drink enough river water, huh? Okay, we'll put this right here. Before we lose steam, it's time for a workout. Yeah, we're gonna do a workout. You guys wanna work out? Don't shake her tail. Don't shake her tail. Don't let her know you're awake. Pretend you're sleeping. Naps? If I don't look at her, she won't know that I heard her. Got it, I'm gonna work out. Well. We've got company. The good boy has awakened from his nap to play lookout and make sure we stay safe.
We got a 40 pound dog and a 17 pound dog. It's perfect. We got arms and we got leg weights. <laughs> All right, you guys, it is absolutely gorgeous out here. But unfortunately, we just checked the weather and a storm is coming in in about two hours. So I wouldn't say this is the safest place to be when that happens. So we're going to enjoy it while it lasts. And then we're going to get back off this mountain and get Rodney to his vet. So on that note, we'll see you all next week. We love you.